I'm your host Nova M. Baimonti and we're here at the Blue Jacket Fashion Show in New York City. Hello, how Hi, are you? How are you? I'm well. You, you look quite dapper. <laughs> oh, thank you. So I'd love to know, seven years, I know. what was it like coming from your first mission statement to this vision after seven years? Well, it's Every been, single year. I, I know, it's actually amazing, yes. really. You know, And this year is like on my way down, I was thinking, wow, it really has been seven years. Yes. Because, you know, things go so quickly and every year is so different. Mm -hmm. But we have some long committed guys like Mario, whose father passed of uh, prostate cancer. And, yes. you know, it's it's been like an amazing experience and also getting to know these guys who really have affinity to help and to reach out and try to inform and feel like they have done something positive for the community and I think that's amazing. Do you, you feel know. like the stigma is kind of going away? Do you believe that it's becoming a little bit less taboo, that there's you know, more awareness around the subject, that, that more men are getting tested? Listen, I think that I, 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 if I leave this as a, as a landmark for myself and a, as something that I leave behind, I'd be very happy and proud that like I did make a difference and a dent in the way that men, you know, because as a fashion designer, we talk about our outer appearance all the time. And I've always said this, if you don't feel good from the inside, you can't cover it. Yes, you have definitely. to feel great. You have to feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. The clothing is, a, is, is like an extension of your natural feeling. It should not be to cover it up. Definitely. So I think it's important to know what's happening and how you feel. Mm -hmm. And what's happening in your body is part of that. Definitely. Yeah. Health is wealth. And I'd love to know, besides getting tested, what are maybe some of your health routines? <laughs> <laughs> I go to the gym every day, but I go to the every day, but usually Tuesday, which is weird. I don't know why okay, Tuesday. Tuesday okay. Don't ask me why <laughs> Tuesday. I don't generally go, but I go every day, but Tuesday. I go to the gym and I try to vary my workouts. But cocoa butter is my secret. Oh, okay. I cocoa butter from head to toe. All right. And don't ask well, me, maybe it's news. a black thing. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. I Sponsored by Cocoa Butter. Cocoa Butter. I have tubs of Cocoa Butter. And at night, I, I lather my whole self. Yes. In fact, friends have seen me do it at night. And they come over and they're like, what's up with you? You're like shiny. <laughs> You're like a shiny beacon. I'm like, well, it's the Cocoa oh Butter experience. It keeps it. me young, keeps the wrinkles away. I'm like... Okay. It's fantastic, cocoa right. butter. Sponsored by hey, cocoa love butter. It. I didn't give a brand. Yes. And out of all the celebrities, is there one maybe celebrity that you're hoping will join you on this journey in the future? Oh, you know what? I love everyone who does it. I mean, like I was saying, I'm excited. Bill Nye's back this time because he really did bring the house down last time. I know, it's a Lizzo. And he's going to do it again. And so I'm excited about him. But I mean, it's, we have amazing supportive guys. You know, I'm sad that some of them who can't be here with us tonight, Billy Porter's out on the West Coast and. You know, but it's it's you know it's it's amazing, and they come back and they really believe in the cause. They support it during the rest of the year, and it's been amazing. So thank you so much, You're and so congratulations. Thank you. thank you, Bill Nye, the Science we Guy. Love that song. Bill, Bill, yes, I have to give a proper introduction. We, that, that's a good. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. So I you're here for a cause, and you got down a few years ago to Lizzo. Yes, that was like <laughs> her first uh, single, right? Yes, yeah. definitely. I don't know what the music's going to be tonight. I don't know. Is that part of your health routine, dancing? Yes, as well. Yeah, yeah, but nor I'm, I'm not joking. Yes. Normally, I go swing dancing oh. to a very different style of music. Yeah. So besides so. dancing, what are some of your other routines for health? Oh, for health, <laughs> I walk. Nice. I walk a lot. I work out almost every day, lift weights, and I put them back down. I mean, that's a thing. <laughs> no, because every uh, here in New York, and I've been in um, in Seattle and uh, L.A. There's gravity. Uh, every all, all three or four places, everywhere I've gone here on Earth, there's been gravity. But if I can get a ride in space, man, hit me the ball. Yes, that would be amazing. And being that we're here tonight for a good cause, do you believe that we're getting away, further away from this being a stigma to get tested for prostate cancer? Well, that's why we're doing this. You know, and, and the analog I'll give you, analogy rather, I'll give you, women get breast exams continually, I mean, certainly, yes. every year or year and a half, what have you. So we want men to get a prostate exam. Definitely. My dad had prostate cancer, and he, but it was right when the radiation had been invented. So a couple months of discomfort and he was okay. But uh, if it hadn't been detected early, he would have died early. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that he also got tested regularly. Yeah. And is that part of most of your mission statements, being that you do have such a personal touch to tell your friends and your family to get tested regularly? Yeah, and you get your hormone checked. You know, it's part of bl blood work. But I meet people who don't want to get uh, a physical. They're af afraid of needles. You guys, it takes a minute. It takes less than a minute. 
a few seconds, get it done. Don't make me come over there. And out of all the celebrities and influential people that are here tonight, is there somebody that you're looking forward to meeting and walking along with? Well, seriously, I do. Don Lemon is a guy I cross paths with now and then. I'd like to say hi. Uh, but um, it's all not, when you're backstage. Uh, Nigel, um, uh, it was, it's, yeah, yes, yeah. It's always good to see guys you've seen before, but it's not like we all hang out, you know. I know that you all bring charisma to the scene, and I love the fact that you also bring it to serious topics as well. Is that something that you do very consciously to bring that charisma to bring more people in? Well, I mean, okay, if you work on television, it is hope that you like being on television. You're right. So it's not it's it's not for everybody, but I like it. Like you've met people in the theater; they like being in the theater. Yeah, it's not weird. It's not that weird. Yeah. And overall, what do you hope that everybody takes away from this evening? Oh, you get checked every year. Prostate cancer is a serious problem that we can uh, learn to handle, learn to make part of our health routine in the developed world. Yeah. Thank you so much, Phil. And just think of the cost of not getting treated. No, we don't want to do that. Definitely. Everybody. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. The nocturnal. The nocturnal. Yes. We stay up all night writing. Do you? Creating. Oh, my God. <laughs> How are you doing this good. evening? I'm good. How are you? Yes, great, great. So I would love to know, this isn't your first time walking. No, seventh so, year. Right, so I'm assuming you're a pro by now. Any I am. Tips? I am. No, I just, you got to have fun. you got to feel the music yes. and let it lift you up, and you must fly down the carpet. I love it, I love it. And we're here for a cause, for fashion and yes. the arts and prostate cancer yes. testing. Do you feel like it's become less taboo over the years? I think so. I mean, we're getting the word out, but there's still a lot of straight guys that are afraid of the finger and the PSA test. Which is just a blood test, by the way. So you know you got to get it done. You got to, you got, you know. I, I, but I, I, I go all the time. I get it checked all the time because my father died of prostate cancer in 1996. So that's why I do this every year. So do you feel a personal connection, especially with that? And do you go ahead and advise your friends and family to get tested regularly? I do. Oh yeah, I do. I would say get your PSA checked. You got to get everything checked, man. You, the older you get, you've got to go to the doctors, not just once a year. You got to go a couple of times a year. I go a lot. Health is I'm a hypochondriac. Well. I go all the time. <laughs> I love it. There's nothing wrong with that. No, there isn't. And I'd love to know what are some of your other health routines besides always getting tested, well, going to a doctor? I've been working out a lot. I stopped working out for a long time, but I, I you know, I turned 63 and I'm like, you got to keep going. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No work. No work. No work. Well, you can tell because I can move my face. But um, I, I am, um, I've been working out since October and, um, and, and lost 10 pounds and I'm just Congrats. getting yes. it done. Amazing. Yes. High five. Yeah. Yes. So Fire stay in shape. Yes. Good. Thank you so much. How are you doing this evening? Very well, thank you. I'm Nigel. Nigel Buck. Nice yes. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. I've watched America's Next Time I've thank pretty you. much grown up watching oh, it. Thank you. <laughs> and I've overheard that you've walked the show eight I have. times. I have, since wow. the beginning. I know. <laughs> so how does it feel? Are you a pro now? How does it feel from going more behind the scenes to in front of the camera? You know, I started years and years ago as a model. So mm. I walked the runways in Paris, Milan, New York, London for many years. Um, nice. But it has been a long time. And so I joke that I have to like dust the cobwebs off. And every year, having doing this blue, you know, jacket fashion show gives me a chance to kind of get back out there again. But more importantly, it's to do, it's, you know, every step is for a cause. Yes, definitely. And how do you feel about this evening? Fashion, the arts, all coming together for a great cause. What is your mission statement that you feel with attending this event? I mean, the most important thing is to reduce the stigma around it. You know, I think that. Well, unfortunately, all too often, you know, men are shy or embarrassed or just ill-educated about prostate cancer. And you know, even the subject alone, you bring it up and guys kind of wince or you know, they think it's humorous or something like that because it's an easy out. Um, but the most important thing is, guys, even if you think it's funny, go and get tested. You know, because if you catch it early enough at those physicals, you know, then it doesn't have to be a problem. And do you feel that in your experience it's become less and less taboo over the last few years or you still think it, some people might be more shy? Um, you know, I, I think that the world has been done a very good job, social media has done a very good job of, of, of bringing up these sorts of topics on a regular basis. But then, uh, it, you know, it really depends on the guys. There's a lot of guys who I know who simply just aren't even on social media or don't care or, or are that sort of classic, you know, male attitude of, you know, I'm invincible you know, and think it won't happen to them. You know, and it's this past year I've had several of my friends who have actually been affected by it. So, 
Um, and, it, you know, it, and it happens. I mean, that's the thing. It, this does happen, and that's why we're here. That's why this is going on, and that's why it's so important. And now, do you feel any jitters or any nervousness walking this show, or do you feel like, okay, you've ridden this bicycle, so you're good for tonight? You know, I, I, I always like to have some nerves. Okay. You know, and I it means think you care. I, mean, I guess it means I'm alive, right? So, yes. you know, I, I think the moment that you have no nerves about something, then it's not exciting, then perhaps you don't want to do it. I get excited and get nerves in my stomach when there's a good dinner on the table. So, you know, it's a, so there you go. It doesn't take much. Of course, pleasure. Hello. Hey, we're good. Here. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, and you look amazing. Thank you so much. So I interviewed you at the Only Make Believe event, gotcha. and I see that we're bringing together a lot of charitable and community-oriented mm -hmm. events. So what is it that draws you into events such as this? Well, I have some good friends that are are well connected with a lot of great charities, and uh, I I don't mind wearing a nice suit by a designer. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got involved through some through some friends, and then I read more about Blue Jacket and more about Zero, and I'm just happy and honored to be here to represent. And what do you believe is it about the arts and fashion and all these influential people bring together a sense of community for this event? What difference do you think that it'll make? It always been any any word that we can get out is great. I'm glad that you're here interviewing people about this, bringing awareness to this. It's like you know, and we can all look good at the same time. So you know, blending the two, making it fun, making it an event for a great cause that we all don't have to have you know be worried about. We just have to like you know raise awareness for prostate cancer it's, it's no big deal just go get tested not a problem early detection is the best it's it prevents uh so many so many cases and so you know just here doing fun things to raise for a good cause and what would you say is the biggest maybe challenge or surprise that you had going from broadway to now strutting down the runway uh you know it's it's my first runway i've never done this before so you seem like a natural on Broadway, oh, so I feel like this is be no big brainer. Thank you. Did, did you see Legally Blonde? Did you all the, the UPS guy? Okay, you might see him out there today. I might be, you know, it's all about the walk. So I think the easier thing for me to do is just treat it as an acting exercise and uh, try to, like, you know, create a character as I'm going down. Nothing goofy. Just keep it in the back of my head and uh, make sure that I'm strutting my stuff. Just act confident and you'll portray it. Yeah, 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 which is not always easy for me. I'm, I'm an actor, for God's sake. <laughs> thank you so much and enjoy the evening. Thank you. Hello. Hi. You look quite dapper well, this thank evening. Thank you very much. Yes, I am right. wearing an uh, outfit by uh, Privé Lodge. Oh, it is a clothier right. in Brooklyn. There we go. Local, yes. Yeah, local. I yes. love it. So what do you hope, especially as a journalist, that fashion and this community and this arts event will bring together tonight? Well, it's going to bring together awareness. I mean, we have fun when we're out here, um, but it's for a serious cause. Uh, you know, um, prostate cancer is, is quite prevalent in the black community. One in six black men will, will uh, get uh, prostate cancer. So um, I think it's appropriate that today is the beginning of Black History Month. It's a great way to raise awareness of uh, prostate cancer and the treatments that are out there and to raise funds for further treatments and, and, and cures. So I'm just thrilled to be here. And we love to have you here. As a journalist, do you feel like it's becoming less of a stigma and less of a taboo to talk about this? I do. And, and um, I'm not sure why it was as much of a ta taboo. Maybe a lot of it had to do with the very invasive treatments. And, um, you know, I think that a lot of men were afraid to be tested because they were afraid of the treatment. But the testing is a lot more um, accurate these days and the treatment is a lot less in invasive so I think that um, I think that I think we're finally getting to that point where it's okay to talk about it and also when you have celebrities who have dealt with it and who talk about it that helps as well Definitely influential influence definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> and overall what do you hope that everybody takes away from this event besides getting tested well take away from this event that um, that there are that there are cures that there are that, that people are, you know, that people are raising money, obviously, as we are tonight. Um, just, just know that you're not alone. Everybody knows somebody who, who has dealt with prostate cancer. And I think that um, stuff, like, stuff like this really hits home the point. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. How are you doing this evening? Good. How are you? Hi, Nova. Hi. 
Hi, nice to meet you. So coming from a theater background, being a journalist and in that world, how do you believe that arts brings together a great cause? I think, you know, just being here, you know, I'm part of the New York community and there are a lot of people here tonight who are part of the New York community and it's a responsibility to raise awareness for things like this. You know, this affects people in our community. So if I can walk a runway for a good cause and raise awareness, why not, right? So how does that go from interviewing to now doing the walking, kind of going in front of the lens even more? Well, I'm a little jealous of you on the other side <laughs> because that's what I normally do. But, um, you know, it's just tonight's all about having fun and raising money and awareness, and that's what it comes down to. Out of all the influential people that are here tonight, is there somebody that in particular you're looking most forward to meeting in person? You know, um, I have to say it's going to be fun tonight reuniting with some of my Broadway pals. Andy Carl's right next to me, Mario Cantone I just saw walk in, Dominic Fumosa who is an amazing actor. I'm friendly with Dominic and his wife, so just to kind of be with my friends and doing this, I'm looking and forward to that. What do you hope that the audience takes away from this show? Let's end prostate cancer. That's what I hope they take away from this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thanks so much. You look great this evening. Who are you wearing? Um, I'm wearing some Frederick Anderson. He told me it was fresh off his sewing machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So is this your first time walking or are you coming back? I'm coming back to the runway, but this is my first time with Frederick. So how does that experience of walking before and now, how do you feel about that? Are you still getting jitters? Do you feel secure? I always get jitters, but I, the people here are really nice uh, this fashion week. And this runway is going to be really fun, actually. And the cause is really, the cause is a, a, a deep cause that can affect people in a positive way. So. And out of all the celebrities here tonight, is there somebody that you're most looking forward to seeing? Um, I think Bill Nye, the science guy, was pretty cool, and N Nigel was pretty cool, and um, actually all of the men in blue are really, <laughs> really cool, honest, honestly cool gentlemen you'd want to like just do a runway with, so, uh, but Bill Nye is definitely like top. <laughs> Amazing, have a great night and good luck. Thank you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love the suit. Oh, thank you so much. So I do I. I was Don great. Murphy. Yeah. Yes, 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 love it. I would love to know what got you involved in this event this evening and what really drove you to come here? Sure. So I'm actually a doctor uh, on 85th and Central Park West, and I'm a foot and ankle surgeon. So medicine is a super passion of mine. Um, and prostate cancer is something that runs in a lot of people's families. It's affected my life. My father's PSA level is sometimes high, so he needs to get checked regularly. Um, so it's something that definitely affects everyone. And if I'm one of the people that affects, I know I'm going to get tested early, checked, and make sure my PSA is okay. And I love that, and it brings about not having it be stigmatized or anything. So how do you feel about that? Do you feel like you see a transition when it comes to people getting tested? I think it's why we're here. Um, I think breaking the stigma is super important. I mean, why if you can prevent something that is essentially life-threatening and down the road and you can test and get treated for it early, it's something that everybody should just do. Um, it's very easy. It's quick. It's painless. Um, and that's it. And how do you feel about fashion bringing together such a great cause and all the arts coming together? Sure. I think in fashion, it's something that, you know, you can even work harder to break stereotypes because fashion and, uh, you know, what people are wearing all the time, I feel like a lot of times those people might be staying away from, you know, these early detection methods. Um, especially people in the black and brown community, it's very important that they, we get the awareness out to them. Um, because it affects them sometimes more and it's really important that we get that message across. Thank you so much for helping bring it across. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> Thank you. It.